Hey everybody, I hope all is well. Uh, here, I want to introduce you to my friend here, which is Proteus Bulgaris. So uh, let's just quickly, let's talk about Proteus Bulgaris just because it's interesting. Uh, the name Proteus means uh, transformation or changeability. It comes from Proteus from Greek mythology, the old man in the sea. So Proteus Bulgaris, so vulgar, uh, Proteus vulgaris really, really stinks. I've been uh, working in microbiology labs for over 10 years now, and this is the smelliest bacteria that I work with. So that's why it's called Proteus vulgaris. But the reason I want to show it to you today is really twofold, just practicing seeing such tiny structures uh, using an oil immersion, but also because Proteus vulgaris is famous for having what are called paratrichous flagella. Uh, bacteria have unbelievable flagella. Them swimming through water is the equivalent of you swimming through peanut butter. So they need a very sophisticated system to move around. And an organism like Proteus vulgaris with paratrichous flagella can have a thousand or more flagella on its surface. So if you can get good at not only seeing bacteria, but seeing their tails, then you know how to use a microscope. So that's why I wanted to choose this organism. In other videos, I may talk about um, the what Proteus vulgaris does and some of the fact that it causes nosocomial or hospital acquired infections, but that's way beyond the scope of today's video. All right, so I've kind of done my, my Goldilocks testing and focused in both directions the best I can. This is the scanning power, so the 4X objective with a total magnification of 40 times, and now I'm gonna jump ahead to your low power and get her tweaked a little bit here. I like to look through the microscope, but I was going to check the camera. The ca these cameras can be sensitive to the amount of light you put through them, so uh, that's why I have to do a little bit of tweaking. I apologize for that. All right. I think I have her just the way I want her. Thank you, Skeeter, my microscope. All right, now moving to the high dry power, so the highest power we can use without having to add immersion oil. So I'm having to play with the light here a little bit, but that's okay. So when you're using the oil immersion microscope, it's very important that you get your image focused here on the high dry power. A lot of times students are gonna rush to the oil immersion and then spend five minutes trying to find something. I found that every second, every five seconds you spend focusing on the high dry power will save you a minute when you get the oil immersion objective. So especially with these good par focal microscopes, do all the work here so that when you get to oil immersion, you just have to tweak things in order to see them. So all right, looking at the actual uh, slide itself, we are starting to see some strands, those, those structures that, that you're seeing throughout the slide, uh, the larger ones, I guess that's kind of a uh, relative term, those are going to be the actual organisms. And if you're starting to see the, tr the little strands that come off of them, those would be the paratrichus flagella. But where we're going to see most of them will be here at the next objective. So, excuse me. All right, so when you're using oil immersion, here's how you do it. I'm going to turn the objective halfway, so it's going to look black here for you. And then I'm going to put a single drop of immersion oil on the center of the slide. So in other videos, I'll talk about why the immersion oil works and why we need it. But for now, we're just going to use it. All right, then I'm going to slowly move the oil immersion 100x objective into place. All right, you'll see I have to, I have to tweak the, the light quite a bit here. So bear with me as I make an image that you guys can see. And voila. So now you can see the bacteria, Proteus vulgaris, in all its glory. And you can also see some of the many paratrichus flagella. So if you can do this, if you can get to this point, then I would say that you are a very advanced user of the microscope. You can see bacteria, which are small enough to begin with. You can even see their tails. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go and look at as many structures as you can throughout the world. And I hope you enjoy your time learning about the amazing world around us. Have a wonderful day.